Good evening, I'm Marcellus Parsons, and this is the Channel 3 News for Monday, the 10th of December, 1990. We are on the road again, the second stop on our trip, celebrating the bicentennial of Vermont. Good evening, this is the Late News for Tuesday, May 17th. I'm Alexandra Marks. Federal authorities foiled an assassination... Good afternoon, I'm George Wilson. A woman with a gun held off police for 45 minutes. Three, WCAX Burlington. From Vermont's most watched news station, this is the Channel 3 News. Senator Jeffers, will you switch parties uh, today? We'll let you know. That's the answer everyone's waiting for. Will Jim Jeffers dump the Republican Party? The reaction in the end is going to be one of, of a Benedict Arnold. I think he stands for a lot of people that don't want to be pushed around. We'll have Vermonters' reaction, the political news. Coming up on Channel 3, noise in the neighborhoods of Burlington. But will stiffer fines curb curbside disturbances in the Queen City? Also, smooth sailing turns rocky for the spirit of Ethan Allen. And let there be light of Vermont football team plays an illuminating game. Channel 3, WCAX Burlington. This is the Channel 3 News. Good evening, I'm Joan Ritchie. Roger Garrity is off tonight. The Queen City is getting ready to crack down on noise. This is the Channel 3 News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kristen Kelly. A small Vermont community is in mourning tonight. An elderly couple. From WCAX, Vermont's most trusted news source, this is the Channel 3 News. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Sullivan. More radioactive tritium has been detected at Vermont Yankee. On Friday, Vermont Health... Making a tough situation even worse. Housing benefits cut for hundreds of Vermonters. It's the same old story, you know, it all amounts to money. A bumpy road for a plan to give driver's licenses to undocumented workers. These workers, these human beings, want to get around just like anybody else does. Not enough sleep makes you groggy and fat. That's in our health watch. It's been well shown that inadequate sleep can be an independent risk factor for weight gain. Plus, the growing popularity of gap years for high school students. And you made a lot of skills that you wouldn't get in like a regular classroom or staying around here. From WCAX, Vermont's most trusted news source, this is the Channel 3 News. Good evening, I'm Chris. The man accused in a deadly wrong way Vermont crash that killed five teens will be in court today. What we can expect from the courtroom. Something like that ha don't happen around here. Neighbors shocked after a man is found dead in New York who police say they're looking for this morning and who has already been arrested. And will the federal government shut down right before Christmas? No budget deal means it could come Friday. What the White House says will avoid the closure. <laughs> And it must be Monday because of the rooster. Yeah, he's crowing about the fairly nice weekend that we had. But we had some weather action during the overnight hours, mainly down to the south, a little bit of a wintry mix. From WCAX, first in news, this is the Channel 3 News. Thank you for watching Channel 3 at noon. I'm Avery Powell, a man accused of texting while driving in a crash that killed... On its way out tonight in Consumer Watch. From WCAX... First in news, this is the Channel 3 News. Treacherous road conditions, bitter cold, and a blast of snow. That's tonight's top story. Our Jennifer Costa speaks. From WCAX, first in news, this is the Channel 3 News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Sullivan. A developing story out of Florida this evening. At least four people are dead. From WCAX Channel 3. The Channel 3 News This Morning starts now. The deadline is midnight tonight to get your taxes filed. And the IRS says as many as 50 million taxpayers have yet to do it. From WCAX Channel 3, the Channel 3 News at Noon starts now. Thank you for watching Channel 3 at Noon. I'm Avery Powell. We are seeing flooding across the state and right now we want to get... 
From WCAX Channel 3, the Channel 3 News at 5 starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Celine MacArthur. And I'm Darren Perrin. Rivers jumped their banks, causing flooding across... From WCAX Channel 3, the Channel 3 News at 6 starts now. And thank you for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Celine MacArthur. Flooding fears tonight. A combination of snow melt and rain means flood... Good evening and thanks for being here. I'm Celine MacArthur. Tonight, new details about the deadly gun battle in Burlington. And Vermont's bishop shares his reaction to the devastating fire at Notre Dame. I think uh, as someone who taught church architecture in the past in a university setting, um, to me it's a great loss. Plus, if you're craving something sweet tonight, don't go into your pantry or freezer just yet. We have cookie and ice cream recalls to tell you about. From WCAX Channel 3, the Channel 3 News at 11 starts now. The drug dealers are often violent people who settle their disputes with gunfire, and that's the danger here in our community. That is Burlington Police Chief Brandon Del Pozo talking to us tonight about the deadly shootout. In Live from Vermont's own WCAX, the Channel 3 News at noon starts now. Former President Donald Trump will be arraigned this afternoon in a Manhattan courtroom after a grand jury indicted him last week. Live from Vermont's own WCAX, the Channel 3 News at 5 starts now. The historic surrender, arrest, and arraignment of former President Donald Trump plays out in New York City. Live from Vermont's own WCAX, the Channel 3 News at 6 starts now. For the first time ever, a former president is arraigned on criminal charges. Thank Live from Vermont's own WCAX, the Channel 3 News at 11 starts now. A sad ending to the search for a missing Middlebury teenager. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Gasford. Tonight, Vermont State Police confirmed seven... Channel 3 Burlington.